Uh, this afternoon, one of my uh, YouTube community, my workshop YouTube community member, uh, gave to me a subscriber of Design and Tech of YouTube channel asking how this 3D circle, the 3D circle you can see on the screen, uh, can be created with Pixel Lab. Actually, I dropped a video, but the problem is it couldn't understand the video. So I watched the video and I understand how this can be created. So I have a uh, make up my mind quickly detailed to a video of how it can be created using Pixel Lab app and sharing it on this platform. If this uh, is going to help you as well. So, uh, but before we dive into the video, if you are a new viewer, please kindly click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get the file whenever I upload new and amazing videos. And as for the returning viewers, thank you, I really appreciate it. So the first thing I have to do is to change the background color. So let's use something light for this. So changing the background color, the next thing is to create the circle shape. So the circle shape. So make sure the color you are going to be using is going to be the exact color as the one we've chosen. Yeah, you can see the color has been chosen now. But we have to click on this plus icon and make it more deeper than the color so you can see giving it more deeper color so you can see how this has been deepened the more you can it's the same it's still the same color as uh, the background color but i've uh, increases i've increased this so that's why it is a uh, deeper than the actual color so the next thing is to copy this just copy the shape copy the shape and use your relative position uh to place it at uh, place it on each other stop you still have it as a circle then the next thing is to go back to shape select the shape then make this shape a circle shape then next thing we are going to do is to be using the gradient color we are going to change this from white to gradient color so you click on this gradient change it to gradient then click on this plus icon so you can see this black this black just click on it click on this side then this these are moving you click on it then you click on the color icon then you slide this you slide it down slide it down making it fading uh, we don't need any color yet so slide it down so you can see this is just like a fading gradient so slide that down so the next thing is to click on the next one which is this one you click on this then you click on the color icon then you click on this uh, uh this color picker click on the color picker then you select the background color you, you select this part background color so you just select the background color and click on ok so the next thing if you look up here we have different here we have different uh position of uh, the fading uh color the fading gradient so what we are going to be using is the fourth one which is the middle one so let's just uh so you drag this you change the position like this then you change the position like this then you click on ok you can still increase it a little bit bringing it to the middle a little bit so okay like this you can see how i've just uh, create this so you can see that so the next thing is to match the three shapes the fading color the two shapes we have uh, created earlier you match the three together match so you can see the three has been matched together now so your you, you slide down to inner shadow where we have inner shadow here enable the inner shadow then select the color you select the color the color will depend uh it to the different color you know earlier when we we're creating this we depend a color we change from the actual color of the background but they point the color to form this shape so you add some uh, you add some uh, offset you change the offset if necessary offset y as well if necessary so like this then the next thing is to create a shadow so we create the shadow for this so you click on your to create the shadow click on shape and change this to shadow you change this to circle then reduce the opacity of this move down to stroke you increase the stroke reduce the size like this make sure there is no there is no circle in between of it again so there is nothing like circle shape in between then you move down to blur radius yeah like this then you can see we blur this 
let's increase this a little bit then we move down to 3d rotate to rotate this we move down to 3d rotate 3d rotate to rotate it then let's take it to the back reduce the opposite let's reduce the opacity a little bit So you can just you can now see how this has just been created so let's copy let's reduce this a little bit Co let's copy this with this a little bit so you can see how it has just been created it is not something add so it is not something that you can see how this has just been created these are 3d circle shape has just been created with pixel app Please, if you find this video helpful as well, you find it uh, helpful. Please don't forget to like, drop your comment if you have any, drop your comment in the, uh, drop your question in the comment section, and uh, don't forget to subscribe on this YouTube channel and put on your notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new and amazing content. Thanks for watching.